Hello, good day. Welcome back to Corner with Viral. So I'm going to be starting a new series and it's going to be on Go modules, but also this new thing in Go called workspaces. So in this video, I want to introduce the next series that I'll be working on on Go on the run within the Go on the run umbrella. So we just wrapped up programming, low code programming with AppSmith. And I think that goes really well with the previous stuff, which is pocket based. I was considering doing another low code development tool, um, but I decided, you know what, let's get back to some Go stuff. And plus the thing that I'm going to be working on next, surprise, surprise, but you should be seeing it on your screen in the thumbnail is Go workspaces and modules. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. So let me tell you, talk a little bit about what I plan to do and the scope of the series. Now, to be honest, I heard about workspaces a few months ago or whatever, whenever it came out. I don't even remember if it's a few months ago, last year, whenever, but I have not used it. But I have the documentation here that covers workspaces and whatever updates or changes that have in Go modules. And <laughs> I've been wanting to do an update to Go modules for a few years now. Because the last Go modules set of videos I have, it's pretty old. And it's actually probably part of my Go Line for Taurus um, course. So there's some changes. And then there's some details that I didn't cover in my previous Go module videos that I kind of wanted to revisit. However, as I look at the documentation, it's a lot, it's quite a bit. So <laughs> I'm not going to be able to go through every nitty gritty, but I'm going to try and see if I can pick the highlights for Go modules and then Go workspaces and see if I can leave you with that. And hopefully the idea is that both of us walk away learning a little bit more about Go and Go modules and using Go workspaces and when to use it and stuff like vendoring. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. But I, I want to set the expectation that Go module um, has grown up quite a bit. And yeah, covering everything, it's going to be, you know, maybe the, my style of doing things where I go sort of in depth and details and show you a ton of examples, I'll probably take like 20 episodes to cover all of this. So we're not gonna do that. But yes, so get ready to get into Go workspaces and Go module. This is going to be the new series and maybe I don't know how many videos, but hopefully it's short, but I just wanted to introduce it. Oh, one last thing before I get out of here, shameless plug for my other channel. A few months ago, you know that I reorganized things here in this channel, renamed it to Coding with Veral, and I mentioned that I have another channel called Veral, etc. Yes, it's been a while since um, that happened. And it took me a while to get around to posting on Feral, etc. But I do have my first video posted there. So please go check it out. I'd love to see all of you here who support me here also over there. But do check it out. I think if you like my style in general, you'll like my much more relaxed style over there. I'm not doing coding stuff. This is going to be on technology and other things. My first video is about Yarrow, this Yard robot that I found. And soon I'll be posting more videos about um, solar and my experience of having solar and suggestion about how you should think about solar if you consider getting it and also my experience owning an EV over a year. All right, shameless plug aside, let's talk about this video. See you in the next video. If you're new here and you like the style of my videos, please, please consider subscribing um, if you're not already subscribed. If you're subscribed or you're going to be subscribed, please hit the notification bell so you know when I post videos and do drop a like on the videos when you see them. Um, let the um, YouTube algorithm know that how you engage and you like the material and hopefully get to share it with others and definitely make comments. Let me know what you think, um, whether something worked for you or didn't work. Please let me know. Um, be kind in your, your comments. And yeah, I love the feedback, whether it's good or bad, but just ask you to be polite. That's all. All right. Take care. See you in the next set of video. Bye.